Yeah, you know, we have multiple guys that are playing in the Super Bowl. The Rams were built to win the Super Bowl, and they have sealed the deal. We got multiple guys going to the combine. That's a turtle running very fast for his size. <laughs> a Conco out of Maryland might be the stud of the day here at the tight end position. And we'll have multiple guys get drafted from Maryland. And to me, this is the standard. We've always had this. We've had back-to-back -back first round draft picks a couple of years ago. We've had it before the last time I was here and guys like Vernon Davis and Sean Merriman being drafted in the first round and being drafted really high. And so you'll see us continue to bring in the caliber of student athlete that will continue to be drafted, be invited to the combine because of their time they spent here at the University of Maryland and our ability to prepare them. Hello? Yes, this is him. Hello? What's up, coach? How you doing? For Pro Day, we've got everything the guys need to come in, compete, and make sure that they put on a good performance for those 32 teams in the NFL. Because we have every single thing they could possibly want to be able to get better and enhance their performance for that day. So we're looking forward to hosting Pro Day in here this year, and we're looking forward to bringing some of these guys back and showing the scouts what they can do. What kind of juice does it add to Maryland to have so many pro scouts in your facility? I mean, it's not surprising. We've got some good players. We've got some guys that I think uh, have the ability to play at the next level, at the highest level. You can come here to Maryland. You'll be developed the way you need to be developed. If you put the, the stuff on tape, the people will come here to, to evaluate you and see you. And um, To me, it's great to see the, the turnout that we had today for these players because the more people are here, the more opportunities that they have before them. Whatever the NFL is teaching, you know, that's what our coaches are learning from, and they're coming back and teaching us that. So I feel like you know, Maryland really prepared me from a football standpoint, and then developing my body. Definitely, you know, Maryland is a place to do it. You see our weight room. Maryland definitely set me up for uh, you know all the success that I'm going to have in my future. Team to give me an opportunity will be, you know, be a great experience. You know, like I said, you know, only select few, select half few people get an opportunity to go play for playing National Football League. So any team that gives me an opportunity, you know, I'll be forever grateful. Definitely living a childhood dream. I mean, this is the same, this is the same thing I've been doing since I was seven. So like, for me, it's, it's definitely living a childhood dream. It's been my only goal my whole life. My defense coach, uh, he taught me everything. You know, in the back side, in the back coverage, and in the front seven. So. You know, it's being able to play everything together, man. It's being first time in my game. That's something uh, Maryland helped me get ready, man. You know, coming here to Maryland, you know, being part of the Maryland family, you know, it definitely would, you know, feel great to just put on for Maryland and then, you know, have all the other guys watch me, you know, be inspired by that, be feel motivated by that, and so that they can get to the next level, too. Turf forever, man. Turf for life. Let's go, baby. Have you thought about the moment where you see your name next to an NFL team's name? Oh, yeah. I've been thinking about that moment my whole life. What do you think that's going to feel like? your happiness, you know, and then that's gonna be like time to get to work. I'm nervous now. Now I'm nervous. <laughs> I wasn't nervous all day, but hey, now, dude, now I've thought of it. <laughs> <laughs> Who picked? Oh, San Fran. Oh, Cincinnati could pick two. It's been good. I mean, time flies. It's, it's here right now, so just enjoying the moment. I just need my phone. I just need my phone to ring. That's it. Just need my phone to ring. That's it. You all right? Nah, not a nurse down there. <laughs> like the Colts traded back, so he's like, that should be the, that should be the one. Wait. Hello. Hello. Yes, this is him. What's up, Coach? How you doing? What's up? How you doing, Coach? Man, hey, congratulations. We're, we're fired up to have you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, uh, I'm also I'm also a Maryland alum, so we, we have that connection. How you doing, Coach? Chig. Yes, sir. I'm doing great, man. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, we're ready to get to work, man. Just uh, 
know, obviously thank everybody around you. Be thankful, be grateful. And uh, it's all about the team and trying to come in and find a role uh, however you can to help. Yes, sir. No. For sure. Let's do it. Congratulations to you. Um, we're super excited. And you're going to be a great fit for our defense. And um, we got a special group right here, and, uh, and you're going to add to that. So um, congratulations to you. Yes, sir. Can't wait to get to work. Can't wait to get to work. With the 96th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Indianapolis Colts select Nick Cross, defensive back, Let's <laughs> get everybody. That's it. That's it. That is it. With the 143rd pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Tennessee Titans select Chig Aconquo, tight end, Maryland. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. Well, let's go. It's time to keep going, man. This ain't even the end. Let's go. We still going up. <laughs> it's finally here. You say you trust God, and that's it. Hey, Turb Nation. Just want to say thank you for the three years that I spent in Maryland. Um, it was truly a memorable experience, and you know, can't wait to represent y'all well in the league. Go Terps, always. Hey, thank you, Turb Nation. I just want to say I appreciate all the support for the last four years. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for believing in me, and I just can't wait to see what's uh, in store for the future. I'm so proud of you, man. So, so proud of you.